Hello folks, so this is 2018 October November paper 2-1 and the question number is 3. Uh, in 3A1, uh, it, uh, it says it defined power. So power is the rate of performing work. Uh, so it's uh, work in the numerator and the, the time in the denominator. Uh, number 2, it is, uh, says uh, state what is meant by gravitational potential energy. So it's the energy possessed by a body, body due to its uh, position, due to its uh, position. Uh, generally, there is the raised position <coughs> in, in a gravitational field. So, uh, number B, our main item starts from uh, number B here. It says, an aircraft of mass uh, 1200 kg, 1200 kg, climbs upwards with a constant velocity of 45 meter per second, as shown in the diagram, as shown in the figure. I assume the figure is there. Uh, the aircraft engine produces a thrust force of uh, 2 into 10 per uh, 3 Newton so the force is given uh, given in the uh, diagram as well so written here also and given the diagram as well uh, to <coughs> move the uh, aircraft through the air of course the rate of increase in height of the aircraft is 3.3 uh, meter per second so we especially have to mention these two things one is the thrust force which is uh, 2.0 into 10 to the power 3 Newton and the other is the rate of increase of height, so it is h by t is equal to 3.3 meter per second. Per second. So uh, the first thing is we have to find, calculate the power produced by the thrust force. So the power is simply equal to force into velocity into velocity. So the thrust force and the velocity is in the same direction. So uh, we don't need to consider any angles here, no components here. So it's equal to F is equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power 3 into the velocity is 45. So it will be, it will be, uh, its value will be equal to, if I use the uh, calculator, it is uh, 2.0 is 2000 uh, into 45 equal to, it is 90,000 watt. So it is 90,000 watt. So power equal to 90 thousand watt now in the next number we have got we have got so determine for a time interval of uh, three minutes for a time interval of uh, three minutes so the time is equal to equal to three minutes means 3.0 minutes means 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 uh, it's equal to 3.0 into 60 seconds equal to 180 seconds so the work done by the thrust force to move the aircraft. So uh, the work is equal to work is equal to uh, force into uh, force into distance here, into distance uh, uh, covered here. <coughs> and the distance covered will be equal to it's equal to, it's equal to since the velocity is uniform, it should be f into v into this time, f into with this time and the v is equal to this velocity so uh, the distance is given by f in, uh, v into t so it's equal to f was equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power 3 into v is equal to 45 45 uh, into the time is equal to 180 seconds so it's equal to it's equal to uh, this thing is a uh, 90,000 which remain from the previous problem so into 180 is equal to so it is it's equal to 1.62 into 10 to the power so you can count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 10 to the power is 7 7 joules so it's equal to 1.62 into 10 to the power 7 joules so that's the value of work now the increase in uh, gravitational potential energy. So it's equal to, it's, it's equal to uh, let us say, um, so delta in uh, potential energy, gravitational potential energy is equal to mg into delta h. And this thing is equal to, <coughs> this delta h is equal to, uh, so we are, we are given here, we are given here, uh, h by t is equal to 3.3 meter per second. So it's the change of height according to time. With the time is this much. So that means uh, that means this uh, h is equal to 3.3 into its t. 
So here, this delta S should be equal to this thing. So it is mg into 3.3 into this t. So equal to m is equal to the mass is given as given as 1200 kg. So it's equal to 1200 into 9.81 uh, into 3.3 .3 into the, t, uh, the time t is equal to 180 seconds. So its value should be equal to 1200 into 9.81 into 3.3 .3 into 180 equal to so its value is equal to 6.99 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 to the power 6 joules so it's equal to 6.99 into 10 to the power 6 joules now the work done is will, will be equal to so what happens here is the work done by thrust force is this much and it increases the gravitational potential by this much only so that means that means the remaining work should be the work done against resistance so that's why that's why the work done against resistance should be equal to this work so work done against the thrust force work against the thrust force minus the increase in the potential energy so that's equal to 1.62 into 10 to the power 7 minus 6.99 into 10 to the power 6 so that will be equal to so 1.62 exponent 7 minus 6.99 exponent 6 equal to so it's equal to equal equal to 9.21 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 power 6 joules so equal to 9.21 into 10 to the power 6 joules now we have to use uh, uh, this thing so use the answer in b23 this answer to calculate the force due to air resistance due acting on the aircraft so we have the work done against the resistance is equal to force of resistance into the distance force of resistance into the distance so again the distance uh, is given by so during these uh, 3.0 meters the distance is given by so equal to f r s is uh, uh, 9 point uh, sorry excuse me sorry so from here what i can do is this is equal to f r s into d is equal to as we have done here v t equal to v into t which gives me f r s is equal to w r s divided v into t so that's equal to w resultant is equal to is equal equal to uh, not resultant resistance equal to 9.21 into 10 to the power 6 divided uh, this uh, v is equal to 45 into time is equal to 180 so that's equal to the force generation should be equal to divided uh, 45 into 180 so that's equal 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 to 1137 137 Newton so it is 1137 Newton now the last question says asks uh, with reference to the motion of uh, motion of the aircraft still explain whether the aircraft is in equilibrium so as it is stated clearly that the the aircraft is climbing up with a constant velocity velocity of 40 meter per second so if velocity is constant if a velocity is constant velocity is constant that means the resultant force on it is equal to zero the overall force force overall should be equal to zero so that means the body should be in so therefore the body the body 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 is in equilibrium equilibrium so velocity constant so f overall is zero which means the body is in equilibrium 